Let's sew a super comfy, versatile turtleneck dress in just one evening. Hello darlings and welcome to my channel where we talk everything sewing. If you're new here, hi, my name is Julie and I'm professionally trained sewist. I love sewing for myself and showing you how I do it with my tutorials and tips. So if you're looking for ways to improve your sewing or pattern making skills, you're in the right place. Today we will be making what I believe will become your favorite winter garment, a knit fabric turtleneck dress like the one I'm wearing today. This design is super versatile, it pairs so well with anything in your closet, whether it's heels, sneakers, jacket, coat, it just goes with everything and these dresses are super super comfortable and warm to wear. Trust me, once you make this dress, you will want to make a few more in different colors because it's just that good. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this dress from start to finish. We will first create our pattern and later we will assemble our dress. This dress is super easy to sew. From the moment you make a pattern, it will take less than two hours to assemble the entire dress. For this dress, I recommend medium to heavy weight knit fabrics with good stretch because this turtleneck right here is very close fitting. You will also need a clear elastic tape to stabilize the shoulders and also the gathers at the sleeves. Before we start our tutorial, I want to give a big shout out to our today's video partner, Organ Needles. Organ Needles are one of the leading needle industry brands with over 100 years of expertise in needle making. Thanks to accumulation of excellent processing technology, Organ Needles create beautiful and accurate stitches. And wide product range allows you to find a perfect needle for any project you have your hands on, whether it's embroidery, serging, or sewing difficult fabrics like leather. I personally been sewing with Organ Needles for several years already and I use it in all of my machines, the industrial straight stitch, the domestic sewing, the serger, and the embroidery machines. When I'm sewing with organ needles I am confident that the needles will perform flawlessly and I will get the perfect stitch quality. It's easy to recommend them because they are reliable and get job done no matter what project you have on hands. Throughout the video we will be switching between several different sewing machines and I will tell you which organ needle to choose, when and why and how to use it best. And now, let's start our tutorial. We will start by creating the pattern for our turtleneck dress. You will need a dartless pattern block. If you don't have one yet, I will link in the description box my tutorial on how you can create an easy dartless block based on your measurements. First, we will adjust length of the skirt. My basic block ends right at the knee length, but I want this dress to be slightly longer. To do so, I will measure 5 cm down from the hem and draw a line parallel to the hem. I want a bit more narrow narrow bottom to create more of a tulip shape, so I will make the line a bit shorter than original hem and connect with the hip line with the curve. Now let's cut the pattern piece. Once front part of the pattern is cut, use it as a template to make the same adjustments on the back bottom piece. Set both of these parts aside and grab sleeve piece. To create gathers at the sleeve part, we will need to lengthen the sleeve from the elbow down. Mark the pattern 3 cm below the elbow line and 3 cm above the sleeve bottom and move sleeve 15 cm down. Insert extra pattern paper and tape it in place. Connect sleeve bottom with elbow part and mark where you will need to start gathers. Measure initial sleeve part length and mark this number. You'll need to gather fabric to this measure. Cut sleeve pattern piece and set it aside. Final piece left is the turtleneck collar. This part is very easy to create and you'll need just two measures. Your neck circumference and the height of the collar you want. Don't forget to add the fold height 
2. Draw a rectangular from this measure. At the top, mark cut on fold. Cut the pattern piece out and it's time to cut our pattern from fabric. Majority of our seams will be made on four thread serger. We will prepare the machine for work. For my serger needles, I'm using organ needles ELX705 chromium needles. These needles are chromium finished for high performance. They have deep scarf, light ball point and are double grooved for good yarn tension. Organ needles, serger needles come in three sizes, 75, 80 and 90. Choose smaller size for lightweight fabrics and larger size for heavier weight fabrics. The fabric I'm working today is medium weight, so size 80 will be perfect for this project. To ensure best sewing quality, change your serger needles regularly, so always keep a few packs of serger needles at home. They will definitely come handy. Once the needles are changed and the machine is threaded, we can start sewing. First, take front and back pieces, put them right sides together, and we will search shoulders and sides. This is optional, but I like to add clear elastic tape and shoulder seams so that they do not stretch out during wear. To do so, simply put elastic under serger foot and sew as usual. The tape is beautifully installed and the shoulders will keep their shape. For dress sides, simply serge it without elastic tape. Next, take collar, fold it and pin. Search color sides together. Once searched, set it aside. Now we will work on the sleeves. Let's switch to sewing machine and install needle that is suitable for sewing knits. I'm using jersey needles by Organ Needles. These needles have medium ball point, which makes them great for sewing knitted fabrics. Thanks to rounded tip, the jersey needle slips between fabric threads instead of cutting through them, so you get a seam without any puckering and fabric damage is avoided. This is why you want to always sew knit fabrics with a special jersey needle instead of universal needle. Organ needles, jersey needles come in four sizes, 70, 80, 90 and 100. You can buy these needles in packs of different sizes or get assortment pack with which holds five needles in four different sizes. We are working with medium weight fabric, so we will choose size 80, same as we did with serger needles. Once the needle is installed and machine is threaded, set stitch to longest stitch. From gathering markings, sew a seam approximate three millimeters from the edge. Sew until bottom gather marking. Leave long thread tails both at the beginning and the end of the seam. Make a second seam parallel to first one about six millimeters from the edge. Repeat on the second sleeve side. Holding thread tails of both seams, gather the fabric to needed length. Pin sleeve right sides together. The sleeve will look like letter C. Repeat with second sleeve and bring them to serger. Search until gathers start. Once you reach gathers, place clear elastic tape under serger foot and continue to search until the end of the gathers. Then trim elastic and continue to search throughout the remaining sleeve seam. Elastic will help stabilize the gathers and they won't fall apart. Once you search the sleeve, you can turn it inside out and put it on to check how you like the fit. The sleeve gathers are looking gorgeous and you can take a moment to admire your work you done so far. If you're liking the video so far, press like button. Now take all garment pieces to the ironing board and press every seam you made so far. The shoulders, the sides, the sleeves and the collar. For the collar part, I like to press seam to one side from the middle to the other side. This way the seam bulk is reduced. Fold the collar at the fold line. 
With garment facing wrong side out, the collar and pin seam to center of the back neckline. Pin collar center marking with front center. At the serger, stretch the collar while sewing so that it fits the neckline beautifully. Do not stretch the neckline itself, just the collar. Sew all around the neckline and finish the serger seam. Once you've sewn around the neckline, finish the serger seam by pulling thread heel back to the seam using a big needle or a crochet hook. Next, with garment inside out, put the sleeve into the armhole. Pit at the armhole bottom and shoulder line. Pin around the rest of the armhole and search. Finish the seam again by pulling thread heel back to the seam. Repeat with second sleeve. Now we are moving to the final step, hemming dress bottom and sleeves. First, search raw edges of the sleeve, sleeves and hem. On the right side of the garment, mark hem seam allowance 3 cm from the edge. Take dress to ironing board. Fold the hem to the inside of the garment at seam allowance line and press. Press all around the hem and sleeve bottoms. Secure hem with base stitch right under the serger seam. At the sewing machine, install twin needle. I'm using organ needles twin stretch needle, which works perfectly with my sewing machine and allows me to sew at height speed without tangling the threads. When sewing with this needle, you will create a professionally looking elastic seam, which is a great substitute for a cover lock machine. From the right side of the garment, twin needle creates two rows of stitches, while at the inside of the garment, you can see a zigzag. That zigzag gives seam and stretch. Aside from hemming, twin needles are often used for decorative stitches, for example, creating pink tucks. When choosing twin needle, pay attention not only to the size of the needle, which you choose depending on fabric weight, but also distance between the needles. Organ needles twin stretch needle comes in two variations, 2.5 mm and 4 mm. For hemming knits, you can choose either of these variations, depending which one you like more. Once the twin stretch needle is installed, you'll need to two thread cones. I sometimes wind a second bobbin and use it instead of the second thread cone. Put the second thread and thread the machine with both threads at the same time. Once you reach the needle, thread each needle with different thread. Set machine to standard stitch and your machine is ready to sew with twin needle. Place your garment right side up and sew around the hem with twin needle. The base stitch will be your guide where to sew. Once you've sewn all around the hem, remove base stitch. Repeat with sleeve bottoms. Press hems and give your dress final press. Your dress is finished. So this is it, our dress is finished and I hope you will enjoy this dress as much as I do enjoy mine because I'm already thinking the next color I will be making this dress from. Big shout out to Organ Needles for partnering on this project. I do really recommend their products. I personally use it and I love it. They're trouble free and they perform flawlessly. The stitch quality is just perfection. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!